It's currently 1 a.m. I guess the day has technically already begun now. Uh, so yeah, this is how we started. We lie on our bed and then begin by procrastinating sleeping. Every night before I sleep, I have to read at least two fan fictions so that I have enough material to create an imaginary scenario in my head and I have to completely act it out before I allow myself to drift into slumber. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably already know this. I cut my hair short, so I have remembered some comments asking me to do a day in the life kind of video. And I never really thought about doing those because at the current time, my school hasn't started yet. I don't have a job. I have little to no productivity or motivation to do anything useful. So usually, my day looks like this. But today, I have a lot of things planned. I'm going to the cinema with my friend today and we're going to watch Doctor Strange together. And then after that, we're gonna go have a meal, we're gonna go hang out a bit, and then when we come home, I'll let you see what else I do besides sleep and contemplate how sad I am. See you! So first things first, I actually had to wake up before the great dawn of 11 a.m. so we could see the doctor. The fit is clothes I have not worn since I was 15. Paste. Toothbrush. Toothpaste on toothbrush. Let's go. Go, go, go. Oh, that grass. I'm cured now. It's mostly just checkup stuff, and before we knew it, we were already finished. There's a no camera or video policy in the doctor's office, and I don't know about you, but I turned 18, which means I can no longer pull the I baby, I no understand excuse if I get caught. And also, I respect basic rules, therefore, we don't have any clips from that. Hi, day in our life, ah. Oh, day in our life for what? You know, should think anything, this is the most productive day. Well, actually, too long. This is it. <laughs> After that, we got some McDonald's for lunch and I was getting ready for the cinema. Something just hits different about McDonald's fries and the Coca-Cola. These two paired together the finest meal in the world. I could not ask for more. If you made me choose between caviar and McDonald's french fries, I would choose McDonald's french fries. And it's not even just the fact that it's french fries. I don't, even, I don't like french fries that are served in restaurants specifically mcdonald's french fries they put something in here what what what, what is that so right now i'm thinking of what i should wear when we go watch the show so picture this white shirt yeah and then i have a sweater yeah it's a black kuromi sweater and then some black pants and that's about it acne and strawberry freckles uh, they are a part of your face and that and they make you stand out and if anyone makes fun of you for it bite their dick off oh you're about to see a bit of magic after i'm done tying down all the little buttons i just just boom they're gone the buttons have disappeared engineering i'm putting on the sweater how do we feel how do we how are we shaking what a mess thankfully i can Tilt the camera up and we can just ignore that. Ah, my face! The fit. <laughs> now, I didn't get to film a lot of this, but I'll illustrate it, okay? I picked up my friend of 14 years from her home and we set off. We already booked the tickets online, so we decided to just get in line for drinks, okay? Here, I was expecting to watch the new Doctor Strange movie with a delicious sweet spark of Sprite in my hand. So we both ordered Sprite, and I kid you not, this sprite was the worst sprite that has ever existed in mankind. I am surprised that it is legally a drink because I don't know how you can frick up a sprite. It just tasted like nothing. It was legit gas water. There was not one ounce of flavor or sugar and I know what you might be thinking. They probably gave you sparkling water on accident. Because that's what we thought too, so we went back and asked if there was a mistake and I'm sure people have had this complaint many times before us. Because the girl working there didn't even check. She just told us with the saddest smile ever that this was just what their sprite was like. She looked so sad as if she inherited this missness from her deceased grandparents and is trying her best to run everything, but there is just a series of conflict for her character development and all of it stems from this pathetic excuse of sprite. <laughs> oh, so sad the sugar in the sugar in the 
你知道 Marvel 的戏就是他们一玩，你不可以马上走出去的啊！对啊 ，After End Credit 时候还有的，还有两个，我弟弟给我讲两个，有两个啊，两个啊！对 ，End Credit 还有多一个 End Credit， 等到他都玩到玩哦，啊，不要，我回去在 YouTube search 了。After that, we went out for dinner at the local nearly bankrupt Pizza Hut, where we had to wait 30 minutes for cold spaghetti. <laughs> you read the movie. There's just something wholesome about certain fast food restaurants that are being held together by nothing more than flimsy tapes of nostalgia and convenience. The best part truly had to be how they didn't even give me a spoon to stir my drink, and when I went to check out the utensils aisle, there was just a fork. <laughs> After that, we did my favorite activity of uh, going into a store and touching all of the tester items and then leaving without buying anything and then ex feeling extremely bad about it. Okay, what are you doing? You're doing this? No way. No way, I'm doing this. I'm not good. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Look, look, look. Oh, come, Greenie? You have to wait. Such a good girl, wait. Okay. There you go. We're back home. Right now, I'm going to write a few emails before I go and take a shower and get ready for bed. I'm just kidding, I sleep at 2 a.m. So, I have this thing where nothing gives me a greater sense of anxiousness than replying to and reading emails. Basically, whenever I see that there is an email I haven't replied to for at least two days, I feel such a great sense of anxiousness and I respond to that anxiousness not by responding to the emails I don't respond to the emails I leave them in my inbox for longer and the more there are, the more anxious I am and then more emails come and then there's more emails I haven't replied to and I become more anxious I'm going to take my shirt off in a very cool fan edit style right now Bum, bum I'm also editing some of my photos. So over here, we have this fine specimen. Uh, I took this photo of me like doing this view to show my hair. The problem is, my mask makes me look like I'm from Club Penguin. So I simply pushed it in. There you go, haha. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like this better or the one just now? I don't know why I'm waiting for a reply like Dora when I can't hear it, but it's okay, you're here with me in spirit. You see, the art of showering is that it takes me 40 minutes to decide to go into shower because I keep procrastinating by sitting on my toilet bowl and watching TikToks. And then it takes me another 40 minutes to decide to get out because after I'm done showering, I like wrapping myself in a towel and then sitting on my toilet to watch more TikTok videos. I kind of have a problem. Here are the colored contacts I got at the store just now. Uh, the person who told, sold them to me told me that they were grayish, a little bit brown. The instructions are... They were at the back of the box and I was trying to read it but it got ripped open. Now, I should preface this by saying that nothing in the world has made me almost cry as much as trying to wear contacts has. And it's not because it involves touching the eye, it's because I cried out of frustration at how it does not enter the eye. I might go blind, and if I do, well, we know who to sue. Like, you can see there's like a little black butthole in the middle. Now we try. Oh my god, oh, ow! 
That's it's still not in my eye. How? How does this work? They say the universe gives you hints in disguise and you think that the contact not being able to enter my eye to 10 times I've tried it is a sign it shouldn't. But the universe needs to step up its game because it's only gonna make me want to do it more. No, it fell! Oh, it fell! Oh, this could not, this could not get any worse. It's in! It's in! It's in my eye! It's in my eye. Oh god, I hope you can tell the difference. If you can, I'm going to be so astronomically upset. There's like, there's like a slight lighter hue here. Uh, you can see the tears rolling off my eye. Yeah? yeah, maybe it's better if I take a photo. I'll show you the photos, okay? I just took a look at the photos I put. You can see absolutely nothing. <laughs> Why? Why like I look at like direct sunlight like this? You can see a bit of it. I don't mind me crying, it's just burning my eye right now and I don't know if that's normal. What? Oh now I now I see the difference. My right eye is now red instead of white. Brilliant! This contact lens is incredible. It changes two parts of your eyeball without even intentionally doing it. It's just red now. Oh my god, oh it's burning. This is not a good idea. Why did I decide? Oh, it's out. It's out. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I better not lose my sight when I wake up tomorrow. And that is 28 ringgit. I am never getting back. Brilliant. <laughs> If I slick it back, I kind of look bald. So it's uh, 12 a.m. now, and you know what that means. It's getting late. It's probably time to kick the bucket. If you are a loser, this is when all the fun begins, okay? People usually go to sleep by now to uh, wake up fresh and early for the morning and have a decent sleeping schedule. But I never promised I was a good role model. So... We're at the sleepover sequence. Tell me all your darkest fears and secrets. That's what people do in sleepovers. Trust me, I will protect all your secrets. You know what? I like spending this time with you. It's relaxing. Me talking to a camera and you, thousands of people just watching me talk to the camera. I am outside your window right now. We can do a typing test. Let's try doing a typing test. Okay, are you ready? Boom. Boom! 85 words per minute with a 97% accuracy. And we've reached the end of the day. I was too distracting binging WandaVision to give any insightful commentary. But yeah, it was a pretty nice day and I hope you have a great one as well. Unless your name is Max. I am starting a petition against naming people Max. Something bad's gonna happen. Someone's gonna die. Woo! I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Love ya! Bye! Thank you.